Hello everyone, I highly welcome you to this video today. Thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. If this is your second time, third time, thank you so much for coming back. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can learn DevOps as a beginner in 2023. Okay, so whether you've started learning already and you're confused, you're frustrated and you don't know the way out, today I'm going to show you the best way I'll be giving you eight steps that can help in your learning journey okay so if you're ready I am ready let's get started so the first thing you should do as a DevOps enthusiast is to set goal for yourself setting goals for yourself can help you to track your progress and help to keep yourself motivated all right so the importance of setting a goal cannot be overemphasized because it is so so important setting a goal will help you kind of have a roadmap that you should follow and set a plan for yourself you should know the tools you should be learning this week you should know the one you'll be learning next week you should have a time you you, you should start doing a project all right so setting a goal for yourself can really help you to track your progress to help you see what you're doing what you are to do all right and help you keep yourself motivated because if you don't really have like a map and plans you follow in this learning journey you'll be confused right so for you to better organize and stay in track for your learning journey please set a goal for yourself if you want to learn docker this week all right start learning docker and learn it if the timing you set for yourself is one hour every day stick to it all right be consistent with that one hour so one hour every day learn docker for one week all right if you want to learn it for two weeks that is fine but you should have a goal that you follow that goal should have the plans you, you've set out to achieve those goals all right okay so this is number one and number two let's see what it contains please avoid trying to learn multiple devops tools concurrently this can be confusing and overwhelming trust me i've been there all right so let me share a little bit of my experience so when i started learning devops i will learn git today and tomorrow i will learn terraform next tomorrow i will learn docker you know within the first month was like a disaster because I didn't really know what I was doing all right I had to run to my mentor to guide me properly I'm still gonna talk about the importance of having a mentor we'll get there all right but please avoid learning multiple tools at the same time try to learn them one after the other when you're comfortable learning say Terraform then move to Ansible when you're done learning Ansible, then move to Kubernetes, something like that, okay? So you don't end up confusing yourself and being overwhelmed. Don't solely rely on theoretical knowledge, please. Instead, focus on building projects and getting hands-on experience. I believe this is a better way to learn, all right? Because you're going to be working as a DevOps engineer soon when you've gotten a job, right? So in real world scenario, yes, your theoretical knowledge can help you, but then what you've done with your hands can help you to it can sustain you in the job it can it can keep you going because believe you me during interviews as well they want to know what you've done interested in knowing what you've done so far all right so please seek for project like look for projects you can do let's see number four challenge yourself to build a project for each tool you learn to gain practical experience and see how things are done in real life this is very very important so let's say you learn you, you you've learned docker this week right try to build a project around docker for instance how to dockerize a node.js application how to dockerize a java application Okay, so this can help you because this is what you're going to be doing when you are on the job. So try to build a project around each tool you learn to see how things are done in real life. Okay, so let's see number five. 
Ensure that you have the necessary hands-on before trying any certification exams. This is very important, please. Avoid obtaining certifications just for the sake of boosting your profile without having any practical experience. This can just do you no good, right? Because I, I see a lot of people trying to gain certifications in this. Imagine writing AWS Solutions Architect Associate and then you don't even know how to spin up an instance. You don't know how you can, um, you know, create a load balancer. You don't even know how to. So all this thing can really, it, it, it will not really help to build you up, right? So for any certification you try to write, ensure you have a project around it, build a project around it, or try to gain hands-on experience. So that can actually help you to pass that exam better, okay? So don't try to just cram everything on your head and just go and write. It's just like garbaging in and garbaging out the knowledge without hands-on experience. Number six. Having a mentor can be beneficial in helping you understand the complex concepts and providing you guidance along the way. I thank God I have a mentor. In fact, I began my DevOps journey with a mentor, all right? He helps to guide me. He helps to show me what to learn. He helps to, you know, kind of give me advice and as well motivate me because this journey, believe you me, it needs someone that can help to also motivate you. You because at a point you might feel like I, I hope I'm I hope I'm doing the right thing like I hope I can still continue in this journey it can be overwhelming sometimes all right so you need a mentor for yourself and how can you get a mentor um maybe this can be a topic for another day right because yeah I met my mentor on LinkedIn all right so maybe we can talk about this later but please your takeaway from this number six should be that you need to have a mentor let's see number seven consistently practicing what you've learned helps you to reinforce the knowledge and make it a natural part of your skill set consistently practice okay make it a habit every day it doesn't matter how many minutes it doesn't matter how many hours even if it's just for a, for an hour or 30 minutes every day ensure you be you remain consistent in your journey all right that is why i first mentioned you having a goal and having the plans you, you've set to achieve those goals please consistently practice all right so you can stay on track and make it a natural part of your skill set all right the last one and not the least is to join a community of cloud and devops engineers okay so if you really want to be in this devops and cloud journey please try to join the community we have a lot of communities out there we have community on whatsapp on slack channels and all that if you don't know the community to belong to reach out to a devops engineer you know and ask please do you have a community you belong to and what does it take for me to belong to those community i have a lot of communities i belong to right so you need that for yourself because belonging to a community can help you learn and ask questions you can easily collaborate with other DevOps engineers or cloud engineers okay you can ask questions whatever you're having confusion you can ask questions there because the truth of the matter is that everybody needs help we are there for each other so this is why you need a community to belong to so you, in that community you will see people that are like you you see beginners you will see middle level engineers there are also some community you see senior DevOps engineers trying to support the juniors all right so you really need a community in your life all right so here comes the end of this video and I really wish you success in your learning journey don't hesitate to reach out to someone when you have a question when you have confusion reach out to your mentor and I wish you success in your learning journey don't worry you're gonna get there you just you just have to take your time and build up yourself you will get there okay thank you so much for joining this video today i hope to see you in my next video but before you leave kindly subscribe to this channel i'm gonna be posting a lot of projects hands-on learning so you don't miss out subscribe and click on notification bell so you get notification each time i publish a new video Thank you so much for your time today and see you in my next video. Bye.